but, but yeah, don't, he's don't, right there with them. But uh, yeah, he was definitely a serious contender. But uh, we can see there, he's uh, on the fourth row, which is great stuff. Okay, the lights are red, they're out, and away we go. Looks like Twyford has hooked up beautifully. Looks like Dowds didn't get away so well. A little bit of fresh air under his front wheel, and I think Lindemann might have a look, but I think he's going to be close enough to go under Dowds there in the first corner. And indeed, it is Twyford from Dowds and Lindemann, and then uh, pick him number for the red. Oh, somebody oh, in the gravel there, somebody gravel yeah. track. They're upright though, they're giving the full Mr. Motocross, but of course they're going to find out the slick tyres and the gravel traps don't tend to work too well together, but no, I think they're going to power down. Yeah, gotta gas it, friend. Absolutely good stuff. They power down over the grass onto the circuit, so there might be a couple of little stones on the uh, way out there. We'll wonder what we'll find out who that is later as we watch the leaders then go up the uh, top there through Schwartz, the left hand and up to the planes. Not as familiar with this circuit as the other guys. Uh, unfortunately for him, everywhere he goes is the new track, but uh, he did admit that it's about uh, from his home in Swindon, about two and a half hours. To, but he said it beats South Africa, where uh, going to some of the tracks is like uh, 16 hours. So. Uh, totally relate to that so this is basically just round the corner yeah exactly <laughs> right here we go then it is twyford who leads the way it is dowds in second it is lindemann in third now the top three are covered by 0.469 at the end of the first lap and costan arvin lily finnis mayo darren barron uh bettis johnson svensson ellis lucas l smith sorry black king harvey catholic Bate, and uh wilson is your order in the top 20. Now, I do apologise to everybody else, but I know exactly what's going to happen here. You and me are going to get our voices up to the peak level of excitement. We're going to totally be getting 17 riders, uh, sorry, uh, 25 riders in this race, simply because uh, this, the action at the front is going to be so much. There's more than made on out there today, unfortunately, and uh, some satellite and engine problems. Big old the piston as all Downs has a look at Twyford. He's got a different line there uh, to Schwartz. Is he gonna have a challenge up towards Coppers there? They pop over the top and no. You just see them tipping into Coppers, and I can see that it is still Downs in second. Now, we've seen this with Dell before. He's very good at pacing himself and playing a bit of a waiting game and just letting David set the pace. However, he will have a look under his armpit, and once he's got over the smell, he'll definitely appreciate that uh, Mr. Lindemann is there ready to pick up any pieces. It was down to the first, fastest first sector on the fast, first flying lap. Over the line we go, then it was 0.4 last time, it's 0.8 of a second covering the top three. 16.423 from Twyford is the fastest opening of the lap there. Oh, a little bit wide there from Dowd's, a little bit of a mistake. And while little, I'm saying he lost about two or three bike lanes. Looks like he's got, actually got a good scrap for the fourth place. We crossed in an arm in there, mate. Yeah, that's Look right. Like somebody uh, retiring, unfortunately just uh, exiting stage left into the uh, paddock there. Let's not worry too much about them. They're uh, up okay, no problem at all. It might have been that. Uh, who was it that ran on? That might have been Wilbur Richards, actually, because uh, he was way, way down the back there. Let's uh, let the act on the uh, for our farmer. Uh, newbie to us, uh, Mr. Richards is. Uh, ben Richards. Ben yep. Richards, there we go. Yep, he's our uh, farmer with protein signs working over the time. Good on him. Farms is a big part of my community, that's for sure. As uh, Twyford goes across the top, but tell you what, mate, Dave's doing the business there. Another passes at first. Uh, Dowd's not sure, he goes uh, yellow because he had that wobble at the first corner there, so I think that might have uh, paid dividends. And we've all of a sudden lost Brian Mayer, who's the one who's not tripped the timing being. So that would have been Brian, Brian retiring down the back there. Here we come in. It's uh, Twyford opening up the gap. It was 0 0.2750 across the line last time. This time it's gone out to 0 0.663, and it's a fastest sector two time. Fastest best lap as well there for Lindemann as he closes the gap to 0 0.338. So if this pace continues, it could be well be that we're arguing talking about the battle for second. But I'll tell you what, mate, we might have to stay getting excited about the battle for fourth place at the moment because uh, Steve Cost just leading Kev Lilly, good old Ever Evan Kevin, Ollie Arvin right in the mix there, Toby Finnis is also in the mix there, and those four are separated by around about 1.2 seconds as well. So we've got a couple of good battles on the track here, haven't we, Brad? Yeah, you're not wrong there. So that, uh, that one at the front there certainly one to keep an eye on. But the one for uh, between Costin, Lily, Arvin, and Finnis is certainly going to be popping up over the uh, following three and a half laps as the race leaders make their way through Swanson on towards.
towards McLean's then. And you've got Del Dowds is falling into the traps here now and falling into the clutches of Dave Lindemann. So uh, Dave Twyford then fastest first sector of the race then previous time around was a 1 minute 16.124. Lindemann went personal best on the previous lap and also personal best in this first sector. And then that battle for fourth place there, their lights went out almost instantaneously from one another as they uh, all closed up and around the far end of the circuit. But the race leaders in towards the Robert Chicane and back into our view once more. It's the number one of Dave Twyford. Number 22, Del Dowd still has second place ahead of the triple three of Dave Lindemann, but Lindemann's in the slipstream there. Whoa, that was very close to the rear wheel there as he pulls out of the slipstream and goes up the inside then of Del Dowd, who looks to hang on to the outside there, but Lindemann's got the move done already. So, a change of second place then as Dave Twyford does a one minute 15.849, and that is a new lap record then for Dave Twyford, your reigning MRO Mini Twin Champion. A 1 minute 15.849 for Dave Twyford at the end of lap number four then. Del Dowd's uh, 1.1 seconds was the gap between himself and Twyford as they came across the line. But of course we do know now that Lindemann is up into that second place spot. That battle for fourth just going through the old hairpin as we speak then looking to make the way up through Stark is now. Race leaders are at that point on the track. In fact, they're round the McLean's and on towards Coppice and the first sector times once again will be coming in so nothing special there in the first sector for Twyford but the fastest first sector time of the race goes to the triple three machine of Dave Lindemann now as Del Dowd tries to retaliate with the first sector so it's all wow. popping up then between Dowd and Lindemann Keith. Yeah that's where the action's going to be absolutely Twyford does go yellow in the first sector but yellow could be very relative when, particularly when you just set a lap record you could be a thousandth of a second off the uh, pace and still go yellow we're going to have two laps left to go and indeed Lindemann is now he's got the bit between between his teeth, he comes across the line. Hot boy, a 15 4 1 3. That's a new lap record. That's the first time we've seen Lindemann set a lap record. I tell you what, talk about sniff at the heels. He is right there. He nearly gave Twyford the full Elton John treatment down there as he comes across the double purple there. So we've got a new kid on the block and he's right in the mix there. Now, at the moment, it's ideal for Twyford because uh, that means that the gap between himself and uh, Dow can open up to nine points. But I tell you what, we could be seeing a four point difference here because Lindemann wants it. You want to see the termination. Watch this youngster as they go racing up around to uh, Swanson, up to McLean's. Here we go, the three of them. Nose to tail stuff. Time to get the boys right up to fever pitch. And of course, when they come across the line this time, Bradley, one to go. So the old hurry up flag right there. And oh, look at Lindemann. He's closed the gap. And it's now Dowds who's gone purple. Dell's on for the lap <laughs> record this time. If he can just get the good toe. Somebody retiring to the pit Yeah, that's Dan Farley. Dan, Dan Farley is out of the race. Oh, poor Dan. He's had a wretched season having a chat with Dan yesterday. Lovely guy. But uh, we're going to wait for the leaders to come down towards us once again into the zone. They go. Lindemann's got it. Lindemann's oh, in the race geez. lead there. Ahead of Twyford, ahead of Del Dow. So with one lap to go then. 1.9 miles left of racing action. And the lap time's coming in. Then it's a personal best then for Dowds of a 1 minute 15.4, which before this race would have broken the lap record by half a second. <laughs> but this time around, it's just another lap. Then, as uh, the guys in front of them, there, it was a 16.2 for Twyford on that lap, which is relatively oh, slow given the lap. pace of these guys. <laughs> terrible lap, there is 16.2. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that would only give us third on the grid so far. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, that's uh, you know, you're right, mate. Absolutely fantastic stuff. They gathered by 2454. So, all that hard work for Twyford to put it to try and gap the other two. Lindemann has closed that gap and gone. And I tell you what, he's going to have his head in the shed. He's going to be screaming. Twyford and Dowd are side by side as it goes through McLean's. Oh, it's one sound towards McLean's then. Oh, it's very close there. Twyford's looking to go the long way around. Twyford's on the outside of Lindemann as they go up towards uh, the crest over towards Coppice. Then they go. And Twyford's still on the outside of Coppice. Lindemann's up the inside, still holding on to that advantage. But Del Dowd will be watching all this unfold in front of him. And of course, he will have that two bike slip through. Yeah, they're working their way down the straight, the race straight. And of course, here we go. It's going to be three abreast on the brakes into the chicane, the rubber chicane. It's going to be Twyford there. Dow tries to get past him. He can't do it. But it's going to be Lindemann who wins in a straight fight. I think it's the first time in a a really straight fight. Young David has done the business, absolutely hooks up with the circuit beautifully, sets a new lap record of a 15-4-1-3, does a 15-9 on the last lap as well. A uh, couple of 60 there, but it's Twyford and Downs there, right behind him, 0.8 of a second. Oh, look at this battle for fourth place, mate. Oh, that's almost as good, if not better than the one for the lead. We uh, really took our eyes off the ball there. It's Ollie Arvin, fantastic stuff from young Ollie. Gets a well-deserved fourth place ahead of Kev Lilly, Steve Costin and Toby Finnis, so they didn't change too much there, and behind them it's a great uh, battle between Jack Bettis and the rookie Seb Barron as well uh, that just should have shows you the pace of these rookies as well we used to see rookies get quicker well
Well, he's into the 19, so a, a low 19 there for Sepp. Uh, I'm not quite sure of Smith's first name there, mate. Uh, uh, Lee Smith. Lee Smith. Lee there Smith. we go. Thank you. Lee Smith there ahead of uh, Andrew Johnson. Uh, that'll be James Fenton. And then which one of the Ellis's is...